that everybody has been waiting for has finally been addressed. We all been waiting to see and hear what Steve Harvey had to say in response to what Cat Williams said. This is Steve Harvey, of course, on the Club Shay Shay podcast with Shannon Sharp. And in today's video, we're going to take a listen to what Steve Harvey had to say in response. And again, Cat Williams continues to have these guys shook in their boots because what are they not saying? They're not stating any points or proof that Cat Williams is lying because we all know that Cat Williams was stating that Steve Harvey was stealing other people's jokes and Bernie Mac was the one warning these people not to steal other comedians jokes as well, too. And then also D.L. Hughley will take a look at his reaction because he reacted to the interview as well. And also stay tuned because Ed Lover spoke out about the statement where Cat Williams was stating that Steve Harvey was hating on Bernie Mac. And Ed Lover actually confirms it in this audio clip that I want you guys to take a listen to. So I'll play that at the end. So stay tuned for that. We're not going to waste no more time. If you guys don't mind dropping a like on the video, that would be highly appreciated. And feel free to subscribe to the channel and also feel free to share this video out and comment your guys' opinions and thoughts. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I love when you engage. But go ahead and take a listen and then I'll come back to you guys. Take a listen. Hold up, Tommy. Hold up, Tommy. So you a comedian, <laughs> you a radio host, uh -oh. yes. and now you got a game show? I'm finna go on Shannon Sharp show and accuse you of you stealing my whole damn career. I thought you supposed to go on there and enlighten people. I so not only did he say that, which he kind of said a whole bunch of nothing, he also went on Twitter as well today and he tweeted this out. It says, you don't have to address your haters 100. And... I noticed these guys are very quiet. They're not saying Cat Williams is lying. They don't have anything to say, which just shows the proof and the truth on what Cat Williams was speaking. Now, some of the fans have commented on the Twitter in response to that tweet he made. One person, the father of light, said the cat effect. And then another person, Christina, said, I think this is addressing them, Steve. LOL. Now, D.L. Hughley definitely was responding back to some of his fans on Twitter. And you can tell he's getting a laugh out of this because, as you see, one fan stated and said, D.L. said he talking about them N-words and not me. Laughing emoji. Okay. Then he responded back by laughing. And then also, as well, this person said, at real D.L. Hughley. So, any cat news? Ain't no way the great D.L. Hughley ain't got nothing to say. Not nothing. Not even Cat said what he said. I'm just jabbing, bro. And he responded back by laughing at that tweet as well, too. Now, I want you guys to take a listen to what Ed Lover said, because Ed Lover pretty much confirmed that Steve Harvey has been hating on Bernie Mac and pretty much just confirms what Cat Williams was saying was true. So just more proof and evidence. So go ahead and take a listen to this and then I'll come back to you guys and we'll close the video out. Take a listen. And then he goes on to say that after... He was supposed to be one of the new kings of comedy that they approached him after Bernie passed and they wanted to take it back out. And he was supposed to be a new king of comedy, but he didn't want to go on the kings of comedy tour because of Steve Harvey's treatment of Bernie Mac. He has a lot of respect for Bernie Mac and I love Bernie Mac. Y'all know Bernie Mac was a who's the man. Bernie Mac was a friend of mine until he passed on. When I tell you one dude that has never, ever, ever changed, y'all have heard me say this before, is Bernie Mac. Love Bernie Mac. And Bernie, the stuff that he said, Cat Williams said about Steve Harvey calling to try to get Bernie's role on Oceans and that kind of stuff, Bernie told me out of his own mouth. And Bernie... I've known Bernie. Like I said, we did Who's the Man in like 91 to 92. The movie came out in 93. Okay. I met Bernie during the taping of uh, Def Comedy Jam. And I went and said, we need Bernie Mac in this movie. Bernie Mac has never fronted on me. Bernie Mac has never lied to me. I believe Bernie Mac when he say Steve Harvey hated on him. I've uh, been with me all the time. You know, she's seen my, my stuff, my new stuff, and all that kind of stuff, when I, especially when I do my single dates. And I'm trying to school her. You don't do your material around a lot of comedians. 
That's like stealing in front of the police. You know what I mean? <laughs> they mean well, but they, they sit on the side. Ooh, that's funny. Next thing you know, you see it on HBO or something. You be sitting at home. That shit mine, you know? <laughs> but ain't nobody going to believe you first come, first serve. You know? So when you do new stuff, you never, I'm telling you, for you comics coming up, never bring your stuff out in front of a house full of comedians. You have never worked a lot. <laughs> Especially established comedians like myself, you'll never work a lot. I got too much pride. I can't take something that ain't mine. You know what I mean? I can't go up and say something ain't mine. The kick about going up there is making people laugh about something that you wrote. Fourth King, I got the offer. Then what happened? But I turned it down. Why? Because you shit on Bernie. And I know the truth. You think I'm gonna let you shit on Bernie and then come get me? I'm the next king? Fuck you.